I don't feel like I am. Hey Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. In the last episode, I started doing some of the loyalty missions, and I did want to talk to you guys about that first before we continue. I know that majority of them kind of need the main story to like continue in order to finish up uh, the side stuff. Like example, Drax's mission, uh, we can't continue unless we discover new planets. So what I was thinking was I'm gonna put all the squad stuff on hold for now till we get more of the main storyline going. So I hope that's okay with everybody, but we'll see how the rest of the Let's Play goes from there. Anyway, let's see what happens next. All right, we're back on Aya. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the most shy. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the interesting way of greeting and the pathfinder, I wouldn't be. <laughs> I did the hard part. No, let, this is a group effort. Everyone played a role, and you know, uh, some people are mad at my decision, but hey, we all did it together. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai, and the pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the pathfinder to Aya's vault. Mm, mm, mm. See. I, uh, I don't want to be like a downer because like this is like a good thing and I do think that if we were to celebrate with the Ungodden it will just kind of give us like more uh what's the word I'm looking for like we'll have a bond together you know what I mean because we're trying to make allies right now and obviously they're not hostile to us but they don't know us that well you're still recovering take your time I'm not going anywhere not without our help I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Okay. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. Good, that's, that's the way- It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. Yes, I completely agree, but Ephraim might disagree because I don't know if they're kind of like into that, but I do agree this is a good idea. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Thank you. Well done, Joel. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Ooh. Um, well, he's welcome on my ship. Not just because, like, you know, we're allies, but, you know, I am romancing him. <laughs> Jal has already become a valued member of my crew. Way more than of valued. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. Thank you. You need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. I wouldn't. Trust me. Their vault looks very, um... I haven't brought anyone different. <laughs> in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I mean, it's- it seems similar. I think what we need to figure out is what's different. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However, they're not connected to each other, but to this place. Mm -hmm. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks oh, like I- That's probably what they're the after. One that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it huh. was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? 
I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. That's probably what it is. Adding on top of that, she just said that the the cat were like so interested in in Aya because it seems like it's the only one that's connected. So is that the reason why they decided to turn majority of the Angaran like to turn into cat? Is that reason why? All right, I'm gonna say I agree. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where, Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Mm. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people and mine. I'll fight for everyone. We'll find his weakness. I'll give it all I got. I'm going to make him sorry. I mean, the whole point of this right now is so that we all work together. And I like to think my writer would want that. Even though we're still looking out for our, you know, our arcs and everything, but we still want to help because without cooperation with everybody, we're not going to be able to live in harmony. It's the same thing in back in the Milky Way with Shepard and everybody. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down for all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Okay. Trouble comes calling, will you be ready? Buy my arm. Ryder. What's Vetro doing? Doing okay? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? Oh. I've been talking to some of their traders, what seeing if the <laughs> work things out. All right, that's good. Uh, be generous. I, I think we're okay on terms of caution, you know what I mean? I know you like looking for the advantage, but Minor we need to earn trust first. Don't bargain too hard. <laughs> You're the boss. What the fuck? Okay. I see you guys are hanging out at the bar. Helping the Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. I mean, you're alien to them, like I am. Imagine seeing a Krogan for the first time? Maybe if I smile more, show my <laughs> teeth. Something tells me that won't help. Yeah, I feel like you'll scare them. <laughs> Real change in tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful, half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. I wonder why. Is it just because of like, her nature, or is it because she's like biotic? You know, I'm a biotic. Hey, Jal. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. Is that a fucking tornado why. over there? <laughs> um. Ooh, you seem happy. You're relaxed here. There's a sparkle in your eye. I am. Thank you. It's nice of you to notice. You're interesting. I like to notice. <laughs> oh, are we done talking? Thank you for making sure that this squad behaves while on Aya. Um. That's all them? I don't tell them what to do on their own time. That's not how Paran sees it. I predict jail in your future. <laughs> I caught Liam on the bridge the other day, teaching Suvi and Kalo an old Angaran folk song. At least that's what I told him it was. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't fret. The marriage can be dissolved by a different song. I'll try to remember it. <laughs> Yo, Joe, what the f I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. What's it's happening? an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. 
Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. No what? I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We're you allies, are we not? Ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. Um, I'm assuming you had a motive. You're not gonna just let people take her. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech. But why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Oh shit. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. Remember how many exiles are from the Nexus? Of renegades and outlaws. Uh, what's Kadar report? I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. Um, okay, I'll go. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. We Let have to go meet this. the exiles anyway, right? Like That's it. a thing that we have to do. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. Okay. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. Uh, As for you, <laughs> Ephra, we're not done. Oh, shit. Well, this is very awkward. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Oh, you've had a relationship before. Please tell me. Not for a long time. <laughs> I... I fell in love with a girl once, Alia. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. Oh. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the resistance. Interested in me? No, wait, hang on, finish your story. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval and she joined our family. Oh, that is she so awkward. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Oh. Their children survived. Oh, that's horrible. So it became... So his brother took his girlfriend, and then they end up living in the same compound as them, obviously in their family, and then they were taken and turned into Ket, probably. That's horrible. Hey, you interested in me, Joel? I think you're interesting and... Well... Great. Anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. <laughs> what do you think? Yes, I'd like that. That's oh. it? You are a lovely woman. Fascinating. A brilliant risk taker. Knowing you... <laughs> Liam really in the back like, yo, what's going on over there? <laughs> okay, then. Wow, really? That easy, huh? I didn't think it would be like... I feel like he would say, I need to think about her or something like that, but... I guess because the Ungarn is so emotional, they just kind of think what they feel, or say what they feel. Well, enough about that. Um, I'll see you later! I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong, and clear. Alright, I think, um, yeah, I think he just flirted with me, great! <laughs> Communication from your friend, Joel. Dearest, in your culture, is dearest too strong of a word to use when two people are fond of each other? And is fond too strong of a word to use when two people enjoy flirting with each other? I enjoy you, even now. I smile picturing your face. Ungarn are free with our emotions, and it feels normal for me to lay mine at your feet. I hope this is not too strange for your species, and that you can comfortably accept them. I enjoy you, but more than that, I adore your strength and courage and beauty, your dearest child. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, Joe's writing me love letters. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Suvi, no. <laughs> Please do something. <laughs> don't do it, Suvi. Yeah, exactly. He Please don't. Me. I thought we were friends. You, sir, are uninvited from all my parties. All right, we're going to Kadara this time around. And I expect to meet a lot of exiles from our... What Kandris was told, telling us, there's a lot of people that were exiled during the uprising. So this should be very interesting to see what's going to happen. We're, we might die. I'm just going to take a wild Sister, guess. We might die. Walker, approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? A group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara Port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards live by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Now orbiting Kadara. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything. And keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contacts soon. Alright, this is gonna be good! Is that a black hole? What? What the hell? This place looks dusty. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's song. Your contact's codename is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. Uh, okay. I feel like I should be concerned. One hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Ugh. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Um. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I don't know about like being allies of them. I know I said we should be in harmony, but these people did a lot of bad things too. But I guess I can't really judge because we don't know if a lot of them did. Maybe some of them just left to follow their friends and families, you know? Ugh, God. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Yeah. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. I feel like these Do two I are a good idea know? to bring with. Nope. <laughs> They seem like a friendly bunch. Yup, this is nice. We'll find a way. We always do. Oh! No more talking. I'm sick of your shit. Um, is this necessary to be beating this man? Hang on, can I say something? How are we supposed to survive out there? What are you doing problem. to these people? You're no Nothing they weren't Nexus. expecting. Court's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. Not running a protection party. fees? What are you, the mob? <laughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law in Kadara. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. I guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Damn, we really can't be do anything. Oh, okay. Okay, look at your fucking hair, all right? Bleach much? I feel like everyone's just gonna start fighting if I'm not careful. All right, let's wait for the contact. Hey! Piss off. You order, you pay. I said... You look like you're waiting for someone. Um. 
Uh, cheers! I've got time for a drink. I probably shouldn't have done that, it might be poisoned. <laughs> Shayna. But you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I thought I was you were a lady. Someone more Angaran. <laughs> the resistance. Pays but I guess names are code names too, so whatever. Among other things. So you're a smuggler. Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Yes, I've Word heard. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloan? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of a good thing? I don't know. I like her already. Well, she doesn't like you. She's right. never met me. You work for the Initiative. Sloan was part of the uprising on the Nexus. Yeah, I kind of get give that. Ven up easily. Well, I mean, there has to be a way. Everyone has a price. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. Uh, okay. How do I contact you if things go south? What does that mean? <laughs> hey, you gotta pay. Keep the change. <laughs> Always do. Jesus Christ. Hey, wait, I paid for his drink! <laughs> Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly spotless? Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. <laughs> a hothead. Yeah. All right, let's go talk to this Sloan Kelly. I'm sure this will go well for us. Nice, dark, damp, um, perfect. Oh god, she's got Krogan. Krogan for guards. <laughs> Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? Should I curtsy names first? Um, maybe if I be an ass back, it will kind of like, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna be an ass. That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Ven Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. You know what? I'm gonna be straight up. I feel like honesty is the best policy. And, you know, the garden might be mad about it, but they want this dude alive, right? So I gotta be honest. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the cat. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Oh shit. I, oh my god, see here's the thing. I do want I do want to bring him back alive for the sake of the unguard because I feel like maybe they can get more information out of them because it's their own people, right? But like, it's also, in a sense, it is also their right to like execute him and hold him for trial because he betrayed them, not these people. Ven should be judged by the resistance, not you. I don't have time for a morality debate. Dismissed. Your Highness. <laughs> Alright, since we're gonna play this game, great. If I agreed to it, would I be able to still... That could have gone better. Perhaps yeah. Mr. Vidal had more success. We'll find out. I was wondering like, if I didn't just say that and I agreed to everything, would they just let me see them and then 
they would kill them? Like, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Prisoner record. Treason. Okay, aiding and abetting cat. High pain tolerance for, uh, even for a spy. Four interrogation sessions and still no usable data on the cat. Sentenced to death by Sloan Kelly. Yeah, see, if you were to have it with the, the guard, I'm sure they could find a way to, like, make them talk. All right, Videl, did you find anything? Pathfinder, over here. Have a nice chat? Not really. I think really. she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. Comes with strings attached? Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. This is gonna get complicated. Are we gonna have a shootout? Ven's intel better be worth it. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that, not me. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. <laughs> you owe me a drink. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Is he, is he like straight or like, you know, bi or gay? I don't know, but I'm a flirt with him. There's still the matter of the bill you left me with. I'm usually the model gentleman. Uh -huh. I don't believe you. Because I'm lying. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. Okay, he's kind of charming, not gonna lie. A little bit, he's a little bit charming. Kind of dig that. But I'm into Joe, so. <laughs> Alright, maintenance shaft, right? Alright, here we go. Oh. Alright. So, I think going here. Looks like it up. leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. All right. Hey, do. What do you want? The Archon ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I'm not with Sloane. Ephra sent me. Answer my questions, and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? This is your only option, bro. Like, uh... Ben, you betrayed the Moshai. You're lucky Ephra wants you at all. For all his faults, the old man's not an executioner. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? You know what? Yeah, tell me. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still. Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... They would leave you alone. Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Damn. See, oh, I don't know what to say here because, like, yeah, you do kind of, you are a traitor, but, like, it's, your intentions are not inherently bad. There are so many choices in, in these kinds of games where there's not a wrong or right answer. I think that's the whole point of Mass Effect because it's how you interpret the story. Just like Shepard, I've made a lot of choices in my playthrough of Mass Effect where they're, they're, ha they are good intentions behind them, but they're not inherently good. Um, so I think it's the same with this dude. I, I don't sense a, a whole like, oh, let me just do this for the sake of betraying our own people. He wanted to give up the Moshai because he thought that the Ket would leave him alone, but then he realized, oh, wait a second, they're turning uh, the, our people into Ket. So never mind, I did a bad thing. And I feel like, in a sense, he was manipulated because he thought he was getting a deal out of this to save everybody. So I wouldn't call him, I wouldn't go as far as to call him a traitor, but he did do something bad. So I do say, in a sense, he does need to be punished, but I don't think he needs to be killed off. 
but definitely not trusted. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader, uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. Well, that's good at least. Because sometimes you can just be like, I can't, I'm not going to do it, or I don't deserve this kind of thing, because I, what I did was right. So it, it's nice to know that he, he at least sees that he did, what he did the was wrong. The communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Oh, great. Petra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? <laughs> yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. Yeah, I'm sure that it was legit. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Alright, I guess we're outside. Uh, this should be interesting. Kind of worried. This place looks gross, I'm not gonna lie. It does look kind of crusty in here. A city under a city. At the center is Tartarus. A nightclub. That's a where Rhea said he'd be. How big is this place? Whoa! Okay, that's new. Um. If you think you're heading into the Badlands, well, you may never come back. What do you know about the situation out there? You might say I'm the warden of the Badlands. It's not a place for tourists. Tough beyond these walls. Uh, I'm tough too. I can handle it. A lot of people say that, and then we never see them again. Badlands are Kadar's dumping ground, like a giant prison. When you're too nasty for even this place, we kick you out there. Damn. You mean exiles who get exiled? Yep. Worst of the worst. And some of them want to be there. Got secrets to hide, I guess. The water's toxic. Sulfur springs are everywhere. Have a nasty habit of catching fire. Yeah. <laughs> so have at it. Knock yourself out. Okay! Well, that's comforting. But yeah, you can tell. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. It does definitely look like sulfur. Alright, we're gonna have to be careful. Cause a lot of it's just rock, right? And it looks eroded. Alright, Sam. Show me what we've got. Kadara's water is dense with sulfide minerals, the oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. So, no skinny dipping? No dipping <laughs> at all, Pathfinder. <laughs> Even the Nomad shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. Oh shit, The presence okay. of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit of the course. Dark hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. Wonder how many drunk idiots have fallen in there. Probably a lot, because it's pretty close to the city. Anyway, let's see what we got on deck. So, um, zooming out. Yep, we got over here. Oh, there's some memories triggers also okay i'm gonna just drive and see what we can get and along the way if we can get some memory triggers yep why not also got to be careful of the water so that's so wait you're kesha's father grandfather actually oh, the fires they were Tell talking you about, about me not exactly she did used to swear up and down about a stubborn old fossil usually while hitting something stubborn old fossil hmm She's called me worse on a good day. Are there people here? Oh, I hope not. Then claimed he buried the cat transponder near this location. There are people in there. Found it. That thing's busted. The transponder's power source is drained. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. 
All right, we're making progress. I wouldn't say it's easy because there's probably a bunch of other oh, stuff yeah. we gotta deal Our with. Oh yeah, park's totally behind us. <laughs> Petra, please come on. <laughs> What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. Oh, what? There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. <laughs> I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morda made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. Okay, okay, how about let's hear let's hear um uh direct out first. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Perfect. Because if there's one thing I do know about, it's fighting pirates. <laughs> but now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Oh my god, see, I I, oh, I understand the whole point of, yes, the cat, but there's like so many other problems too. That's why I'm trying to say open-minded our goal is to create our home here you never know how something might fit in anyway get Kella the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian golden world we want all our options ready to go hey I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything <laughs> meeting adjourned as you were Ryder you're so bad at this she needs to have like a, a command over them but she freaking doesn't <laughs> Hey, Jal. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What are you What's doing going on in here? <laughs> you look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. No, I understand. I can see how that help. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure yet. No, you know what? Do it. Why not? Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Uh, Who cares? Do right. it. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. <laughs> Liam seems to like my Rothschild. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial and garandaga for Drax. Yeah, do it, do it. I feel like I feel like Drax might like that. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. I don't think he's gonna Would use it as decoration. You like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you. But I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. You're sp I think you're special. You're pretty unique. And it's not just because you're a different species. Like, legitimately, he's a very interesting character. Because I know the Ungarn are very emotional. I feel like Jal's character is so different because he's supposed to be like he's portraying like this very strong person, you know? And then having him like be like, oh wait, I kinda wanna talk about my emotions. Once again, aside from the fact that that's part of his nature, I just think it's, so, it's such an interesting combination, you know, to be outwardly like that. I'm gonna just say, I think you're special. Well, I think you're great. <laughs> that's so... It's true. <clears throat> you're making me blush. I can't tell. <laughs> My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. 
right. Thanks for listening. You're gonna do great things. I thought, oh, see, he's, he's still lost, and I talked about this in a couple of episodes ago, that he's still trying to figure out, like, what he wants to do. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. He's like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> that was cute! Gil, here's that Ket transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? The location it points to should give us a fix on the Archon ship. <sighs> right. Uh, can you do it? Think you can figure it out? I've been looking over the Ket tech we found so far. It may be a different galaxy, but physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Thanks, Gal. Did you connect the... Oh. Shit, turn it off. <gasps> Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Oops. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure we want to do this? Honestly, we have no choice. I know we're still getting our feet wet, but I don't see another choice. <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is dangerous. Only if we die. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Is it true? We found the Solarian Ark? Sam, tactical. It looks like the Archon captured it. The ships are tethered. What can we do? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Ryder, it's good to see you again. We've located the Archon ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber. His sanctum, he called it. He's very proud of that relic. Oh, not for long. Right up until we steal it. The Archon isn't to be trifled with. He has no regard for the sanctity of life, not as we know it. Be confident, Ryder, but be cautious. I understand. We have Thank to be careful because the Solarians are there too. Of course. I wish you well. Thank you. Okay, we play this right. Not only do we get away with the relic, we save the Solarians. I say we get onto the Ark, assess the situation, then sneak onto the ketchup through the tether. A feasible approach. Currently, Ark Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about are the Solarians? Are anyone there? Unknown. Oh, you heard God. the Moshai. The Archon's capable of anything. Well, he'll regret it. If he's done anything to those Solarians, he'll find out what we can do. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them of back. Course. Now let's make this one count. Damn, I didn't think we were gonna see one of the arcs here. This is bad. And Sam can't tell if anyone's like around, alive, or okay. Alright, so this should be interesting. Let's see what we can find. Alien vessels have been detected within the system. Effective immediately, all external communications are restricted to avoiding revealing arc Par 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 how do you say this? Position. The unknown celestial phenomenon continues to disrupt long range scans. Position of the Nexus Arc Hyperion and all the other arcs remain unknown. Okay. So they got a blackout. We're in. So far, no unusual activity from the Ked ship. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh, so I leveled up. Hang on. <laughs> Accessing Arc Pachero's internal systems. A moment. Additional data encryption has been added. Hurry, hurry, Never Sam! Never stopped you, Sam. Never. It was a cryptography key associated with Solarian intelligence services. I have unlocked it. Mission At status. present, Ark Parchero has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Location of Nexus is unknown. This is Captain Hager of Ark Parchero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Seven Reka. Situation urgent. No mystery there. We need to find the Pathfinder. Overriding bulkhead door. Oh, that does not look good. How does the ship look, Sam? Some cat infrastructure has been added, but the arc systems are operational. 
So it's flight ready. Yes. Are you thinking of? Easiest way to save everyone is to take the whole arc with us. Funny definition of easy. If the right Solarians are still on board, this might work. Hmm. It's possible. No signs of fighting or struggle. Could the Solarians have rolled over without a fight? Let's hope their Pathfinder can make sense of it. I don't know, unless they had no choice? the cat have been offloading pods and equipment from the Ark. No good will come of that. Offloading pods? Hang on. By agreement, the Ark senior leadership cease all defense operations against the alien vessel. The risk of catastrophic, catastrophic damage to the Ark and the colonists is too high. So maybe they just surrendered in sake of like saving everybody. Oh! This Solarian shows no vital signs. This colonist is deceased. The medical terminal may provide more information. Okay, hang on. Oh, Kylo's not gonna like this. What did their record say about the Solarian, Sam? He is identified as Pathfinder Zevin Raker. Ah, oh, shit! Shit. The guy we're looking for. We can't catch a break. We're still more fortunate than him. However, yeah, I guess. the records indicate Pathfinder Raker is female. This patient is male. Oh, okay, maybe that's a what? relative. Never mind. Then who is this, really? I have his DNA signature from your scan. Locate a sequencer to confirm his identity. Uh, okay. The DNA of the deceased Solarian matches colonist Jex Arlen. So they switched them, trying to hide them. Oh, okay. I thought they were Check just related or something. This pod. See if anyone's there. I've That's actually the pretty room. smart. It's just like the Solarians to pull a sneaky trick like that. No, it's a good thing that they freaking did that. The the actual Pathfinder we're looking for is not dead. That's pretty smart. Sure are a lot of pods gone. I'd like to think they got away before the cat showed up. Me Captain too. Hager's okay. message suggests otherwise. We're gonna have to look for them. Okay. Let's see. Yo, Jal, stop making so much noise. This isn't Jax Arlen's pod. Damn it. Uh. This isn't the pod we're looking for. This is the deceased Solarian's pod, yet I detect a female Solarian inside. I think we found their Pathfinder. Let's get her out. You need to access stasis controls to revive her. Okay. Hey there. Take it slow. No need. I'm fine. Solarian stasis recovery is almost immediate. <gasps> I like her voice! Who are you? Ryder. Pathfinder for the human arc. Where's Alec? He... didn't make it. <sighs> oh. Oh. This is madness. Stasis was a mistake. I should never have agreed to it. Uh, are you okay? What's bothering you? A leader leads. She doesn't go to sleep. Yeah. A hostile species, an armada, set upon us. I, I think she Our feels guilty. Saw no choice but surrender. Said we'd live to fight another day. He convinced me to hide in the general population and to dismantle my Sam so we wouldn't fall into enemy hands. But we're still in their grasp, I see. We have come to liberate you. We're heading into the Ket vessel to gather intelligence. Wake up a flight crew and ready the Ark for escape. 
On my signal. That'll be no trouble. And then I'll work on freeing the Ark, so you can focus on your objective. All right. Do what you can, but stay quiet. We We're don't Pathfinders. We gotta do this. Yes, yes, of course. I'm keying you into our comms. We'll stay in touch. Hello, Pathfinder Raker. Ah, a Sam in my head again. I'm back in the game. We'll be ready, Ryder. Okay, wow, all right. Well, at least we have the Pathfinder with Tempest, us. Tempest, we're in the tether. Going across to the cat ship now. So far, there are no indications they're aware of your presence. Good luck, Pathfinder. Oh my god, I hope it stays that way. We need to steal this fucking thing and get out. Alright. Shit. Okay, we keep this quick and quiet and they'll never notice. So uh, much for quick and quiet! Oh man! Alright, well. We walked right into that one! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, do this. They kind of do. They they kind of do. Where's this guy? Going at? back now. Keep it up. More of them coming in upstairs. The Moshi sends her regards. Get that guy. Where the hell's the terminals at? Okay, here we go. Accessing the ship's systems now. I have located the Archon's private chamber. Yeah, where's it at? Uh... What about the security? What's their Hang security on. situation look like? An alert was issued, but I have countermanded it. The delay is only temporary. Okay. Right, we need to hurry. Is the Archon in his quarters? That information is not accessible. Only the room's location. Yikes, he might be in there. Shit, the alright. The relic would be in his chamber. Let's get there. Oh god, this might be bad because Ryder. he might be hanging out in there. I thought you were on the Ark. Too many of our people are missing. If we don't find them now, we never will. This is Hadra, captain of our Ark. We'll focus on the rescue while you push ahead. A secondary okay. route is available, marking nav point. We'll help you get on your way. Ryder, if you access the terminal, teacher, I can override the door. And all oh, okay, I've ever done is pilot <laughs> ship. That doesn't mean I just rolled over and die. We can do this. Captain. Oh, I didn't mean to cut them off. Our people. I'm sorry right. we can't help you, but we have our own mission. Good luck, Pathfinder. Yeah, you too. You Pathfinder. Too. Okay, Sam. The relic. Still got a lead on it? Marking the route to the Archon's chamber. You may proceed. Proceed, huh? Three of us against a whole ship full of cat? Mm, I prefer an open fight. The best will win. Alright, through here. Shit, here we go. Okay. Still a little bit closer. Good, they haven't noticed us yet. They will. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, hang on, wait. How far away is this fucking room? Oh god. Here we go! Keep your head god down damn it! Door. Where are we going? Exit is on the far side of the room. There's a lot of heads between us! Huh? Wrong ship incoming! Wrong button! Wrong Sorry! How is that even fair? They're reinforcing! Should we just make a run for We've it? We've got in every direction! Oh shit, man! Careful of the ones up top! Oh. 
wrong button again. Why do I keep doing that? It's like I'm Shepard all over again. Guys, we are supposed to be the cavalry. Is that your best cat? Well, I'm glad Joe's having fun, so that's nice, I guess. Oh god, what the hell? Jaw, cover me, Jaw, cover me, please. God damn it. Why do I keep pressing the wrong ass button, bro? What's wrong with me? Who's the other guy? everything the Moshai said it was. Me too, dude! One of the wisest people I know. We Ryder, this is Pathfinder Rika. I assume those alarms are because of you? Yeah. Had a little altercation. And you? Oh, hang on. I hear I can help. So far. Still looking for our people. Rika out. Okay. Is there like a health? Oh, here we go. Also a senior member of Aunt Pachero's leadership. Where the fuck did they go? Huh? It seems the cat targeted them, perhaps to sow confusion among the colonists. They're gone though. Wait, is there any more rooms that we can go into or something? What? Doesn't account for all the pods. Where are the rest of the Salarians? I don't know. Take a look at that. Are those guns not there? Confirmed. The offensive armaments of a highly capable warship. And they're all pointed at the Salarian Ark. <gasps> it's going to be a problem. Your oh, route continues on the far side of the room. One shot from those guns and everything goes up in smoke. The relic, this mission, and a lot of Solarians. This is the current firing solution on Aunt Pachero. The cat are targeting the stasis holds midship. He'll be sliced in two. 
At least it's quiet. Wait, so they're planning to like... They're planning to destroy the Salarians. We come so far and all these guys care about is killing us or exalting us. I want to file a complaint. Well, this room looks like it's all about the killing. <laughs> oh, the flip kids, is that the- Hello? Why is someone like yelling? Find us. No, I understand that, but I heard somebody. Was that my imagination? I thought I heard somebody yelling. Yes, the door just locked. I doubt that's an accident. Look sharp. I see oh, them! Crap. It's an ambush! Those tricky bastards! Get ready! Great, great, great. Man, I gotta change the way that I use that. I think I'm, I'm using the wrong button all the time. In here. Then we give them a fight. Get away from Jolly, weirdo. It's a big room. So let them get the drop on you. Fuck. Ugh. Down everywhere. Chamber. Where? Oh my God. This guy just keeps running now, doesn't he? Over here. Oh, Rika, what's happening? Selden's wounds were fatal. <gasps> I'm sorry. He was brave. No. I can't access this terminal. It's not working. Ryder, can Sam open the door for us? Yes. 
A moment while I override security. Rego, we've got a big problem. Did you see those guns back there? I know. They'll destroy the Ark before we can power up the engines. Unless... What? If you've got an idea, let's hear it. Venril here used to repair FDL drives on private cruisers. Venril, an EMP device? It might work. If we rig run to detonate near those guns, they'd lose power. And the Ark would be out of harm's way. What about your missing people? I'll keep looking. Captain Hadrian and Venra will focus on the EMP. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, it, we kind of have no choice because they're gonna die regardless, so we have to try. Everyone be careful. Good luck. The door is now open. I'll stay in touch yeah. over the radio. Right. In the meantime, we've got a relic to find. Sam? Marking the route to the Archon's chambers. Alright, please be careful, Why Pathfinder. Are keeping our voices low? We are infiltrating an enemy ship. Who already know we're here. <laughs> Why take chances? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. This room's over there. Okay, let me take a look around, though, if I can find anything. Any useful information so, or something. just wondering, but if we blow it and don't get the Ark out of here, how many civilians are left? Like, in the whole galaxy? Not enough. The whole species is at risk. I... He wouldn't want to be the one to break the news to your pilot. Yeah, Kahlo. I don't want to hurt him because I really like Kahlo too. Damn, they're doing it again. <gasps> Seriously? There is an alternate route. Overriding the door now. This fucking dick, he keeps locking all the doors. Nope. The Keta okay. hardening their security. Try scanning the access panel. Where's the- oh, here we go. The door is voice activated. I can attempt to modulate your vocal cords to approximate Ket intonation. Okay. Okay. How are you gonna do that? The system is asking for your authorization. How do you wish to respond? Really? <laughs> Access denied. We're extra security. Intruders have been spotted on the ship. We need to secure this area. <laughs> Access granted. Really? <laughs> I agree. Wait, how did that work? Okay, I'm not even gonna question it. Whatever. Shit, here we go again. Well, we're off the beaten path now. Iket Lab. Nothing good can come of this. Wait, how did we get in there? What is that thing? Is that a spider? What the fuck is that? Yes, no, Could be a spider. So what are they up to? Nothing good from the looks of this place. They just Cat ran away. Science is about one thing. Inflicting suffering. Should we kill them? Like, I don't know what to do there. Weird. Handy. If you have something to hide. Oh, that, that controlled the window. So no one can look inside. <laughs>
Oh, we can go down here. Guys, <gasps> I think we just found all the missing stasis pods. Maybe the Salarians are still alive. The pod is empty. Damn. Also empty. Shit, they oh. took them. What's going on here? Yep, they took them. They're probably turning them into another kind of cat. That's all I can think about. Because that's what they did with the Ungarin, but like... Salarian is missing organs. It appears he died after the operation. Wait, somebody's yelling for help. They were alive while it happened. <gasps> you! Do you hear me in there? I'm going to kill you myself! Bastard! You can't hide! Are you fucking serious? How do we get to them? Oh my god, they're all dead! We need to find that relic and stop these monsters. All of these are dead bodies! Current testing populate is depleted. Specimens expire quickly when subject, uh, subjugated to experimentation. Or examination. A request more life substance to be transferred from captured enemy vessel on order of the Archon. Fucking asshole! Is there no way I could save that Salarian there? Fuck, we can't get to him. Someone's going to pay for this. Take your anger Ooh. out on them. You assholes! We're not lab animals! Fuck you! Since I can't really blame them because they're kind of like turned into like, you know, whatever the cat are, so. That felt good. I didn't get the scientist though. The Archon's chamber will require a new path through the unlocked door. Right. Rider, caution. <laughs> kind of immobilizing field it's useless to struggle oh shit who the fuck I've is that been guy in this forsaken cluster for decades surrounded by amoeba can you arrive a human able to do the unthinkable you even evaded me such an unlikely rival was almost invigorating to have one. And yet, it's a fitting end. Ooh, you're a monster. You're overconfident, and how? Feel free to cry. So what are these two? I feel like you're too overconfident, sir. I'm just putting this out there right now, because you never dealt with humans before. You have no idea what you're messing with. Now I suggest you let... <gasps> hey, hands off. The first sum. The testing begins now. I will learn your secrets soon enough. What the fuck? Did he just take some of my blood? Report. Await my arrival. Save your strength, human. I'm surprised Ryder didn't have any reaction to that. Rika must have run into trouble. We have her beat. Sam, what can you tell me? I'm sensing a biological transmitter in your bloodstream now, attempting to neutralize it. Okay, that's priority two for sure. 
Any idea how to break out of this? The containment fields only interact with living matter. If you expire, the field around you will extinguish until manually reset. So we have As to die? Know, my access to your physiology allows me to enhance your vital signals when required. I can also do the opposite. Kill me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of don't want to die today, Sam. After stopping your heart, I would attempt to resuscitate, of course. Are there any other options? None that I can determine. Great, okay, I guess we're dying again, right? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Ryder, good luck. It has been a pleasure. Stopping your heart. Now. Sam? Stimulating the cardiovascular core. What if Sam doesn't bring us back? We just fucking Zero died. Activity. Stimulating the cardiovascular core. What was that? All her memories of her family? Tired of dying. Twice now I've come back from the dead. <laughs> yeah. I can't say the experience is improving. I believe it is preferable to the alternative. You two look comfortable. Just get us down from here. Let's find a way out of this cage, huh? Didn't he just there say there was like something in my body though? Okay, must be a way to access it. I'll look for it. And while we've got the chance, may as well snoop around. Might right. be useful intel. Your little mark, curious. But one lie and that's Step away from there! You won't break something you can still use. Wait, what? <gasps> Before maybe. But now, when I talk. Do you hear me? Now you have two Pathfinders to deal with, and we're not impressed with your security. <laughs> yeah, get him, Reka! Reka, come in. What's going on? A little diversion. Captain Hager and Venro need time to set up the EMP. I'll be in touch. That is one brave Salarian. I like her. I like her a lot. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to, like, do that. I was just like, oh, hello. Okay, let's listen to this uh, recording again. Curious. But one lie, and that can be broken. You won't break something you can still use. Clever prattle. Everything serves. Before, maybe. But now, when I talk, you'll listen. Tell me what you know of Meridian. Is that why you're here? Meridian? I've never heard of it. We just got here. It was a long trip and... Again, tell me of Meridian. I just explained. I don't know what that is. I... Then what use are you? What do you... Dissect this specimen as you will. That's why they captured them. They think they're here for Meridian, but the Salarians just... I guess the Ark just ended up here by accident, right? Where are you from? A different galaxy. We call it the Milky Way. Why did you come here? We're settlers. Just looking for a place to live. Speak the truth. Where is your invasion force? We're not invaders! Please, who are you people? We don't mean any harm! We- Wait, wait! Ah! I can't tell you what I don't know! <laughs> you lie! Where is the one you call Pathfinder? I don't know! I'm told this specimen lays claim to a title. Among my people, I'm known as Moshai. Here, you are nothing. I am your enemy. You serve a use, that is all. That's why you still live. You will tell me what you know, or you will suffer. Moshai. I told you! I've never seen the relic before! Pain will remind you. Ah, oh. oh. A final time. How does Meridian work? 
I don't know. Then the specimen will learn true agony. The reports are true. Strangers have arrived on our borders. Specimens we've never seen. We captured a lone vessel. The occupants claim they come from another galaxy. Milky Way, they call it. A great opportunity lies before us. A treasure of fresh specimens. Genetics shaped by forces outside our galaxy. This could be quite the prize. Archon, as you ordered, search teams have been dispersed to find more specimens from the Milky Way. The Salarian specimens claim a knowledge of an additional species called Human, Turian, Krogan, and Asari. We are in the process of collecting members of all the species for a study in eventual exaltation. They probably have the rest of them then. That's where all the other arcs went. Oh, what the hell? Most useful in these Solarians are their cognitive abilities. Their thought processes occur much faster than in the others. There is a cleverness about them, a cunning which could be leveraged. More work is needed to isolate the genetic markers. There is no shortage of specimens to choose from. These Turians possess a useful exoskeleton. On harsh worlds, it could prove advantageous. More intriguing, there is discipline about them, adherence to militaristic order, an effective trait for instilling obedience. Additional specimens will be required for study. The ones they call Asari. Their reproduction is a mixture of biology, thought, and memories. They take what they need from a species, as they should. Reproduction cannot be left to chance. The superior race dominates. Yet these Asari pretend otherwise, a melding, they call it, embracing eternity. Biology has no use for poetry. In That's the end, kill their biotic traits may prove the most useful. Doesn't surprise me that they think they are the most useful one, because they're the most powerful one. Among the new specimens, the human is the most perplexing. They possess an emotional range which often exceeds the others. Their unpredictable nature marks them as dangerous, but if the root of their passions could be isolated, we must identify a champion among them and capture it for further study. Um, that's me, technically. The Krogan are a brutish race, which could be useful. Redundant organs and a savage temperament, made to kill. Even the other specimens fear them. A deliberate genetic fault was introduced to limit the Krogan population. But I wonder, without this defect, they could be unstoppable. Ah, uh, they're talking about the genophage. Well, that did something. Let's look around. Uh, okay. Oh, it opened up that. Okay, perfect. So yeah, they're de they definitely Go harvest everybody. Because they're gonna need their genetic code and everything. That's what they're looking for, isn't it? Ow. You guys hear that? Yeah. The hell? <gasps> what are all the pods doing here? What the fuck is happening? Who's screaming? Every galaxy have monsters like the Archon ruining everything. Is evil everywhere? It gives us a chance to prove our own courage, our determination to stop it. Fortunately, yeah, I think evil is everywhere, no matter where you go. I don't want to know. 
Oh, bitch, what the hell was that? Really Yo, Joel came in clutch there. What was it doing here? Very good question. Why is it down here? What happened to him? He did, Salarian. He must have escaped into the docks and then. They set that animal loose to kill him. Poor guy. are still alive. I'm headed there now. Captain Hazier, what's your status? The EMP is primed and ready. Good. We're almost to the Archon's chamber. Stand by. Is this the chamber? I mean, I guess it is. Is that a Krogan? It was. Probably one of Drax's missing scouts. The DNA is Krogan, but drastically altered. It's clear the cat are closing in on successfully exalting the species. Fuck! I'm beginning to hate these guys. God, I kind of wish that, that I brought Drac with us so that I could see what his opinion well, is about that. Here we are. Captain Hager, this is Ryder. We've reached the Archon Sanctum. Give the word and we'll set off the EMP. Should disable the guns. Got okay. it. Okay, what the fuck All are right, these guys, things? We're looking for a remnant relic, map of Meridian. And I thought I was obsessed with the remnant. <laughs> Why does he care so much? That's the question, isn't it? We need to beat him to the answer. Sorry, that scared me. I thought he was in the room. The Archon has done inside. extensive testing to this artifact, damaging it in the process. It is no longer useful. Right. Mm. The Archon's anger will only get worse if we pull this off. He needs to be stopped. What we've seen on this ship, it would be genocide for the whole cluster. That's the thing, it can't just be us. We scan everything that we need it. This object serves no useful purpose. It is the remnant equivalent of junk. The Archon is whistling in the dark on this stuff. Oh, that's a symbol! Pathfinder, this is the relic the Moshe described. It does seem to be a map. Chart we uncovered in the vault on Eos. Is that what's happening? It's Meridian. Coordinates secured, Pathfinder. So that's what you're after. There's more to Meridian than you know. Changing the weather is a fraction of its power. And I will not allow you to defile it. Try to stop me, asshole! You didn't allow me to escape your little trap either, did you? I wasn't you. It was the artificial intelligence in your head. I've seen what transpired in the laboratory. And now I know what makes you... That's what they wanted to know. Hmm. Meridian is mine. I've tolerated 
lasted you long enough. Was They're interested in Sam. Captain, fire the EMP! Done! Oh shit! I should have bought Drac, man! Oh my god, dude, hang on, I need health. Where was that health pack? I saw it here. Here it is. when those guns come online. Why are we walking? Can we run? At the moment, I'm picking up Krogan life signs on board the ship. Several captives are being held not far from your location. They are scheduled for exaltation. Save them! Could be the rest of Drak's missing scouts. Sam, do we have time to get there before the cat restore power? If you act quickly. 
Ryder, it's Reka. I'm pinned down. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Where are you? Near holding cells, where they're keeping several of my people. Oh they're shit, they're alive. gonna make me pick. I ordered Captain Hager back to the Ark. You should be with him. I couldn't leave my people. I had to try. And now, I think it's over. From one Pathfinder to another, farewell. Reka out. Damn it. There isn't time to save both. Once the cat restore power, you'll oh be trapped. Oh my god! <sighs> this is the last chance for drug scouts. The Archon will turn them into monsters. Oh my god, dude. I don't know who to pick here. All right, time to think this logically because I feel like there's no right answer here. There's never any right answer when it comes to like big decisions in the Mass Effect universe. So, scouts. They're scouts and they're Krogan. And obviously it's Drax's people and his his own scouts to begin with. But at the same time, Rekha's a pathfinder and there's not many pathfinders that are left. We need more leaders too to help. She's also qualified. She knows how to- oh my god, this is the thing. Because it's like thinking of like if we save Alec Ryder. Imagine if it was Alec Ryder. Would you save a bunch of people or the leader that could help them? I- maybe I'm being bu oh my god, if I bought Drax on here, you would've kicked my ass. But like, I feel like I- I need to save P the Pathfinder. Like, I feel like we need her more than the scouts and I don't know if that's like fucked up to say. Because it's like, it's just scouts, but at the same time, that's still innocent Krogans, you know? I feel like I gotta save the Pathfinder. Because I see more logic in saving her. Because it's, it's beneficial in the long run to help the entirety of all the arcs and the whole point of the Andromeda Initiative. Oh god, I feel bad! I don't know! Reload. We're going after Reka. Oh my god. I feel like my opinion would probably be different if if Drac was here, because I feel like I would help him. Pathfinder, you came. Reka, we couldn't just leave you here. Thank you. My people are at the end of the tunnel. It's cat the whole way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Also Let's thinking go. of that this is the Salarian Ark. We don't know where the Krogan Ark are yet, right? You know what I mean? So this is not all of them. That's the only saving grace about this. Uh, 
This bitch keeps throwing bombs at us. Oh my god! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, that's why! I was like, what was behind me? It's this fucking guy. Shit! Oh, PB. PB, no! I'm dead. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. We did it! That was the last of them! Yeah, everybody's fucking dead, though. <laughs> Can you run? Pathfinder, the cats are close to restoring the ship's power. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Ryder, thank you. Yeah. Save it for when we're safe. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel so terrible when we go talk to Drax later. But it's like we get oh man. This is the actual Solarian art. That's why I'm choosing the Pathfinder. Because we need a leader and then we got the art. You know, we got all of it. I know most of them are gone, but we need the Solarian. Oh, oh, oh. Ryder, now! We've got to go! and then the arc would just blow up. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> A team will escort the arc back to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Thank you again, Ryder. But I owe you an apology. I made a mistake. Oh? I shouldn't have called you to say goodbye. The choice you had to make. I put too much on your shoulders. No, you did your job. It's not a matter of that. You, you tried to say, like... You know, save- that's the whole point of the Pathfinder, isn't it? To make way- make better way for everybody else. So that's what she was doing. She said, I failed the mission, just leave me. You have to save yourself. So I don't blame her for that. You did what you had to. If that had been the Hyperion and I was looking for my people, I would have been the one calling you. I appreciate that. As Pathfinders, the line between serving our own people and the greater good is blurry. I prefer a sharper focus. I don't think there's going to be much of that in this line of work. I suppose not. Whatever the case, the Solarian people are forever in your debt. Oh no. Earn this. We will. I just realized something too, because of the genophage. This makes it even Correct. worse. I heard what happened. Wasn't enough to save the whole Ark, huh? Had to grab a few more Solarians on the way out. Fuck. it's... Complicated, except it's not. Leaving my scouts behind was worse than killing them outright. And you're not the one who has to explain it to the rest of the clan. It was Shit. a difficult choice, Ryder. Shit! You won no! Victory. The Archon has been dealt a blow. Your father would be proud. God, I hope so. It's been tough trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. He said the worthy would rise above it and learn to face adversity ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. 
It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Oh, Either no, the subjects Krogans. submit to exaltation, or we will use it to I kinda gave them more Krogans on their side too, shit. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must Wait, what? Is, that's what we saw, isn't it, it, when we died? Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. What the hell does that the mean? Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. Fuck! We hit him once. We focus on doing it again. We have to rally the Nexus and move on Meridian. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Oh my god, so much has happened. I feel really guilty, but I don't know. I just feel like saving the Pathfinder along with the Salarian arc, it's like... It, it's more like it outweighs like the bad decision. I don't know if I made the right choice because I do feel really guilty about leaving those Krogan. I don't want to leave them behind. And it's not like I don't care about Krogan or Drax's like company. It's just I'm trying to look at the bigger picture. We need another leader. But now we have an idea where the Meridian can be. But now the Archon has seen inside Ryder's memory. So I don't know what the hell he's going to do with that. But it's obviously not going to be good. At least one good thing came out of this episode. Uh, I finally officially flirted with Jell and he he's flirting back. So that's nice. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Mass Effect Andromeda. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye!